Hi guys, it's Monica. I know you know that. I don't know why I always say, hi guys, it's Monica. I just think it's a habit. So anyways, it's Monica. So this is a highly requested video and it is an update of my nighttime skincare routine. I had a couple of requests to update both morning and night and I thought it would start with my night because that is usually the easiest and the quickest routine that I have. So I, I work full time and when I get home, I typically, you know, I'm, I'm usually home if I don't have any appointments, say, say about 5.30, we have dinner. And so by about 6, 6.30, dinner's done. And if we're not going out at all, I usually strip off my makeup. Now, when I go to work, I don't typically wear a whole lot of heavy, heavy foundation unless, you know, I'm going to be teaching all day or I'm going to be in front of a bunch of people, then maybe I want to even my connect, my uh, complexion up. But in general, I, you know, I do my SPF, I do some bronzer, I do a little bit of foundation, I keep it light. I've been playing with eyeshadow, so eyeshadow might be the heaviest. Eye makeup is the heaviest thing that I have. So when I get home, the first thing I do after dinner, when I know I'm staying in for the night, is I take and I remove all my mascara, my eyeshadow, and I use an oil-free cleanser. And um, and I, you know, I've been using eye makeup remover, oil um, oil-free, and something like an Equate Neutrogena. It doesn't really matter. So I usually buy that. I take off my mascara. It's a cotton little swivelly round little thingy. I take off all my mascara and the reason I'm using the oil free is I'm still doing a care pros treatment so I do that maybe two or three times a week and I don't want to have any oil build up on my lashes even though on my non care pros nights I might be using a bit of castor oil on it but not a whole lot. So in general once the eye makeup is removed I usually do I'm, I'm usually a triple cleanser. I usually go all over my face with some sort of a wipe. I happen to really like this one. This is an avocado cucumber type wipe. I'm almost all gone. I will pull it out. I'll sometimes even wet it with water and I will just go through my whole entire face. Once I've done that, I either go through one of these two and you can tell this one is, right. I'm, I really think this is my absolute favorite. I'm gonna link it in the description below. This is something that I've, I've already bought a replacement. It's actually out in the motorhome. You can see how much of this I've used. This is my second bottle. So I buy this in TJ Maxx or Marshalls, although I haven't seen anything the last couple of times I've gone. But like I said, I already have my replacement. And this is a just a really nice, it's an apricot probiotic um, clean, cleansing milk. It's fruit stems. It's just, it's very gentle. It's moisturizing and it's for sensitive skin, dry skin, which I have. So I will have to say for cleansers, my absolute favorite. My second favorite would be my CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Again, I have drier skin. Now I may be oily in the T-zone at times, but in general, my skin is really dry to the point, and I've mentioned this in other videos, that I normally have to put a little drop of face oil in most of the foundations that I use. So this is my CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. I, this is probably, oh gosh, I think it might be my third bottle of this. I absolutely love it. So one of these two products is what I'm gonna be washing my face with. I wet my face really good. I put this all over my hands. I have a Foreo Mini, the little round, uh, little pink thing. I actually have the dupe that's out in my motorhome that I bought thanks to the O'Carroll show. I'll link her channel below. But she had talked about this Foreo Mini dupe facial cleanser and I, I love it. So I usually put it all and I, I it, it kind of beeps after a while so you know if you're going too long, but I love using it because it really thoroughly massages my skin. So a couple of times a week, well I shouldn't say a couple of times a week, I want to say probably maybe three or four times a week, depending on how many flaky situations I have going on, I'm going to use one of two of these products. Now, this is my second bottle of this that I bought, and I also won a bottle in a giveaway from uh, Life with Lily, Sheila's channel. This I was turned on to by Natalie the Beauty Diva. This is a glycolic acid by Body Mary. Oh my gosh, I love this. It is, 
It's an awesome exfoliator, it, for me anyways. It's perfect for my drier skin. It doesn't dry me out. It doesn't, it doesn't irritate me. So I absolutely love this. As I said, I've repeatedly bought this and I just want another bottle of this. So I'm like super, super thrilled. And the other thing that is not my favorite, but I bought this way back when, and you can see I haven't, well, it's hard to see with the label, but I'm probably halfway through the bottle of this. This is a Mario Badescu glycolic foaming cleanser. This actually, this actually can be harsh for my skin at times. So I use this, but not a lot. So between my two exfoliators, I cleansing type things, I probably use these maybe three times a week, two or three times a week. And again, it really all depends on how my skin is doing. So once I'm done cleansing, I use any toner I have. So I have a witch hazel toner currently, I use that. I just dab it on. And by this time, you know, I'm, I take my time with my skin cleansing. I just kind of find it really relaxing to wash it all off and to massage my skin. Some nights I have a mask. I'm not a snob on masks. I shouldn't say that. That sounds horrible. I don't have a favorite mask. I love bee venom masks. I love uh, face masks, sheet masks. So there's a whole bunch I really like. So a couple of times a week, I'll do that at night. On weekends, I know it's my morning routine, <laughs> I sometimes do it every morning, but I absolutely love doing it. So if that's done, and it's a, you know, just on an average night, I will go in before I put anything on my face after the witch hazel, after my toner, I will go in with my reverse anti-aging skin clinical light therapy contraption. So I, I bought this. I should say everything I'm talking about I have bought with my, with my own money. I'm not sponsored. I, none of these are freebies. These are things that I just really buy and like. So this reverse anti-aging, I mean, I really don't know long term. I can't tell you there's been any fantastic results on this. This takes a long time because what I do is I go into each of my deep areas, the areas that I'm concerned with, and I massage gently, and I, and I don't hold this tightly or push. I hold it back, just gently glide over my, shape, my face. No tugging, no pushing, no whatever. And I do each section for three minutes. So I'm, I'm gonna do here, I do on my, my upper, you know, this, area here. I do all my crow's feet area, my deep lines here, my forehead. So this three minutes each section can take me a long time. I'm usually sitting watching TV or watching a YouTube video and all of that. When I'm done that for the night, and now it's obviously much later, if it is a, a night that I am going to say, for example, use my Retin-A, I will go into the bathroom and I will grab my niacinamide. I always put my niacinamide on before my Retin-A. I used to just buy this because of the pore reduction. Everyone was saying, oh, it's great for your, you know, reducing your pores and all that. But this has a lot more benefits than just pore reduction, in my opinion. I'm not an expert, but I really like it. So I take the niacinamide and I put it all over my face. Anything I put on my face, in general, I'll go down my neck into my, my um, decolletage, area and then on my hands. So what goes on my face goes usually all over the place and on my hands. So Retin-A night, no matter what, this comes on next. I will let it soak into my skin and then I will take my Retin-A. And as I've talked about before in previous videos, so I won't go into a whole lot of detail, I use my 1%, I use my 1% of my Retin-A right now, currently roughly two nights a week. And then I'm alternating between the 1% and the 0.5% another two or three nights a week. I typically do Retin-A maybe four to five nights a week. I am not at an every night and I am not at the strongest dose. I, I still peel a lot. Right now I'm peeling a real lot. So I, I have these three. I have the weakest, which is the 0.25 and I do that just under my eyebrows and then down into my neck and into my decolletage area. And I sometimes will mix this when I come down with a rosehip oil or a cacay, cacay oil. I love those two oils. I, depending on which one I have, I'll mix it in very nicely and I will, I will use my weakest Retin-A for that area. If I'm done that and I've got my, you know, my niacinamide, my Retin-A on, 
I typically, if my skin is super dry, I'll take one of my face oils. Whether I'm taking uh, the marula oil, which I just started to use, I just bought it from The Ordinary and just starting to use it. It's very, very rich. I do like it. Um, I might use that or I might use the other oil I like a lot. It's, um, I can never pronounce it. It's called a ho a ho ho Jehovah, Jehovah oil. I'll link it. And I really like that. I might put that on. So if, if I'm not using a face oil at that point in time, I just go right in with my bee venom. I've used this bee venom since the beginning of November, so that hasn't changed, beginning of November 2016. I take the bee venom cream and I put it all over my face. And holy cow, does it sting. I mean, it stings major. I like jump around going, ugh. But I wake up the next morning and my skin is so soft. It's like, like a baby's bottom. It's so, so soft. I absolutely love that. So I'll put that on. And then my last thing, sorry while I'm reaching over, is I, I love this eye cream. I use this eye cream from Timeless and I try to take it out and I try to make it just a tiny, little, tiny, little droppy thingy. And I, one, and I just tap it all around my eyelids and down into my eye bags. I let that sit in my eyes. I don't know, it depends on what I'm doing. But then shortly, you know, maybe right before or a half hour before bed, I end up taking the Nevaeh Skin Firming and Smoothing Serum. So I've talked about this before. I do put it on my eye bags. Now, my eye bags, I have eye bags. I'm 63, I have eye bags. They may not be as bad as some eye bags, but I have eye bags. I also don't know how to use concealer under my eyes, so I never put a concealer under there to hide them. I wanna learn how to do that without looking like a, I mean, to me, it's like everything gets dry there, but it's my skin. So I will take this, and because I have these, Ooh, little fat pockets. I take a little dabby and I will put it right on the inside of my fat pockets on my eyelids. Now I'm very careful because it does say keep away from your eyes. So, uh, you know, you're going to be very, very careful. I kind of do that, you know, right before bed. I tap it on and then I would ever left over, I'll tap on my eye bags. And then sometimes I'll put a little bit more and I'll go down around here. That's usually it in a nutshell from a nighttime routine. And the one thing I didn't mention is I take a collagen supplement, and I've talked about this many a times in the past. I take a collagen supplement twice a day. So one of the last things I do at night is mix two tablespoons of my collagen supplement into room temperature water and drink it down. And um, I really think that that has really I think it's helped me help my skin out a whole lot. I really do. So that's my nighttime routine in a nutshell. It's, you know, maybe I've gone on and on about it, but it really is basically simple. I, I don't play around a whole lot with my, you know, my skincare. I do play around with makeup. I try different types, but my skincare, I'm pretty well into a routine. So I hope that answers your questions. Again, this was a requested video and I'm sorry it's long, but I didn't think it would be this long, but it looks like it's really long. So anyways, thank you for watching. And if you made it all the way to the end, please make sure you like the video. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment. I'd love to talk to you about your skincare, about suggestions. I always get the greatest suggestions from my subscribers. Thank you all so much, guys. Bye-bye.